everybody. Today we just wanted to show you the whole set of Rabbids Invasion minifigures and um we did the two inch collectibles and we just want this one we were we just we got these when before our channel was born and this is the second video on our channel and my brother would demonstrate the paintings and you know where we got them. Actually we got them from Walmart for a buck fifty each pack and I think it's such a good deal for all of them. Well, each pack was like a buck fifty, so yeah, this was at Broken Park Walmart and my brother will demonstrate how the paintings are. Okay, so um, let me let's start with the first one which will be the bowling ball rabbit. So let me just move aside. Just let me move these all aside for a minute. Okay, so here's the first one, the bowling ball rabbit. As you see, he is holding the red bowling ball right there, and he's wearing a blue cap. And he looks a bit nervous to throw his ner um, little ball, but he looked very nicely done as a painting for a little two-inch minifigure. And as you see, you see the blue regular base. It's just basic blue. There's not really in nothing into it. But the figure right here is very detailed. It looks just like they took it out of the game. And I really love these toys because they're really, I mean, they're nice. just really nice. Um, yeah, so, we just got them, up, you know, just felt them. That was a technique, basically, that we just felt them through the bag. And, you know, and that's it. On And the package behind the, you know, bag that they come in, the... The bowling ball was no. The bowling ball's hat was, you know, red. So it was just a prototype because it says that it's a prototype. So yeah, I understand. So the next one right here is a surprised one, and as you see, he looks like he's all happy, very excited. And he's reeling like crazy, <laughs> and so I mean, he's just like a basic rabbit, just screaming, sitting there, just you know, having his own little time of fun. And he is very detailed, and one thing I noticed is the tongues are very nicely done because they glued them in there really good. And uh, I really am surprised that these are so small figures that they just detail them like so much, they just look so much like them. And um, yeah, so it's got all the nice painting on it, there's no like splat or anything, it's just perfectly painted. The camera doesn't show too much, um, it's kind of not that good of quality, but, you know, you know what they look like, so. Mm. I think you saw them in other videos, but we just wanted to show you guys how the whole set looks together, so. Um, yeah, you should definitely get these. These are from McFarland Toys, so, if you go on the channel, the Series 2 should be already, um, on, in stores. But uh, I definitely think you should, guys should get them, uh, in my opinion, but I think these are great. And I think you should go out for them. Go, you know, searching for them. So the next one we're going to bring out is the bikini one. This one is super funny because he's just wearing a bikini on him. Um, so the, as you see, there's a nice detailed starfish, like, on there. And then the bottom. And he is just looking like, just screaming because of starfish on him. And it might look a bit creepy, but... So it's very nicely done as well as the other ones in this set. Looks very detailed, very nicely painted, nicely done for a two inch figure. Yeah, so I really like these little figures because I don't know, I just like them the just the fact you see them just standing there. I just like them a lot. Um I like rabbit blind bags more than the minion ones. I'm sorry minion lovers. I like minions but I just think we should go out for these instead. There are, I haven't seen the minions go on sale, but I've seen these staying on sale in our local Walmart. They're buck fifty, so it's not that bad of a price for one. Then if you like, it's like nice painting, so I think you guys should go shopping for them, literally. Yeah, so the next one we're going to pull out is the bug rubbing rabbit. <laughs> and this is really hilarious because obviously he's touching his butt. <laughs> wow, this is just funny. Um, and he looks very, like... I don't know, like, he just looks like he's embarrassed or something, he just touching his butt in public or something. Um, like I was saying, it's very nicely painted all over the place, it's just no splats on any of these. Very nicely done, as well as eyes, just to mention, the eyes are really small, but really painted. So, yeah. There has been one time where we tried getting them, the butt, like, the sick one, but, 
we checked getting them because we only needed like the Rockstar and Home because we got the rest. We ended up getting another of this one, so we got we gave it away to you know our uncle. So he liked it and stuff. So yeah, but we ended up getting it. So we're there just standing. We're about to review him. So okay, so the next one is the puke and sicking one. The puking one. Looks like he wants to throw up a lot because he it looks like he's not feeling well. Um, yeah, so this is the one that we we're about to get, but we got the butt rubbing one. Unfortunately, just, but we bought it. They just both look to feel the same, but when you actually get them both together, the ears don't feel the same. So the technique you should go for is that more curved ear. So if the, since the ears are so curved, you should actually be looking out for that. So you don't get this, like mm -hmm. that one right there. You don't get that little fellow over there. Just, you know. So, um, yeah, so here's this one. Looks very detailed, too. And it might feel like a long video. I'm sorry if it's a really long video, but I just want to show you guys all the details and everything. So, let's go to the next one. Next one is the pan frying pan um, one. And here it is. Looks like he's got a, that smirk on his face, and then he just, like, wants to bang somebody with his pan on the head, so they pass out. And I'm really liking these detailed figures, like I said before. Very nice. So, yeah. And the pan is really separate, but it's not that... If people think it's hard to put on the pan, it's not that hard. You just gotta grab the end of the pan, kind of push it in where the hand curve is. The curved hand is. Like, you know, you just push it in there in that little space. It's there, you know. You don't have to actually bend it or anything. You just... Or try to... Lot it on in like through the hole. No, you just like grab the end of the pan and just press it in. So it's not that hard when you get used to it, but yeah, I got used to it. So yeah, so in the very last one, sadly, because I want to keep reviewing more, is the rock star one. Got the guitar, but it just fell off just now. It just so. fell off right now. So here's a little guitar, as you see right there, it's very small but very detailed. Got all the strings painted, everything. I don't know if you can see it, but um, a lot of people when they get them, they literally I think they end up throwing away the guitar because a lot of people on YouTube have seen these videos, so the, they don't end up getting the guitar. So and I don't know, they're just missing it or. Uh, and this is a rare mystery figure to mention, and this is a really nice rock star. It's like very like painted, nicely done. I mean, it's all sculpted like the other ones. I'm really liking these things. I mean, I was really excited, especially when for this one when it came because I knew it was in there. Um, it was pretty much you can kind of tell on some of them. Sometimes you couldn't. You just really have to feel them in there. This one was like a bumpy bag. If you guys see a really really bumpy bag, it can either be this one or the bowling ball one because you guys gotta be really careful because the bowling ball one it didn't feel bumpy, and we found out it was a bowling ball by feeling the hat in there okay. so yeah so this is the one and i'll show you guys right now how it looks when it's put together um you know we just like the both favorites we mainly like is the, the my brother likes the screaming one over here right there and i like the bowling ball right there so those are our mainly favorites but yeah we're looking forward to get the second series they ever hit our shelves that would go to basically but yeah and here it is, it looks just uh, really cool with the guitar on, so, just like the frying pan one, it's not that hard all you have to do, you just plug it in there and you're done. But, it might be a little hard sometimes because it's really small, so. It's very slippery too. Don't get frustrated, just you know, go with it, you know, it's, it, it'll just take some time, not too much, so. Um, that was, um, no. So, that was just the whole set, a quick review of the whole set together. Oh, the McFarlane Rabbits Invasion Toys 2-inch Collectibles. I think you guys should go shopping out for them. They're buck fifty now at Walmart. The ones we go to, it's in Brooklyn Park. I totally highly recommend that you go get them. And I think you guys, um, I think you guys should just go for them. You know, it's, it's really cool toys for such a good price. Um, please subscribe, comment, like this video. And see you all guys next time. And let us know which one's your favorite. So, uh, hope you guys have a good day. Bye.